Hey guys, it's Nicholas here with another unboxing. This time I've got 10 buffaloes. They're one ounce American buffalo gold coins. They are coming from Atmex. They have sent it to me in their usual packaging. I'm pretty used to this now. <clears throat> got a box and a box, and this one came stuck here so that it doesn't move around. Very nice job, Atmex. And let's open this up. So I bought Random Ear Buffaloes. They are nicely packaged in a really well secured holder here. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, they're a little bit flimsily, flimsily uh, packaged in here. Not very happy with that. It's gonna cause the rims of these coins to get a little uh, worn down. Uh, not the worst thing in the world, but you're not gonna get any high quality 70s that last in a tube like this shaking around if you ship them too many times like that. So um, let's take a look inside the tube. I do like it when they ship in tubes rather than in flips. Just makes it easier for storage. Um, sometimes you have to pay for flips, uh, for tubes. Let's see how they look. Nicely packed in there. So well, let's see what years we got. <clears throat> Who knows, sometimes they have 2018s in random years. Here's a 2017. I really love the luster on these. Very good condition. Certainly be you. Can't complain. Here's another 2017. So we got 10 2017 gold buffaloes in this package. I ordered them at a really good price. Um, they, I got them on deal from eBay. They, uh, they shipped really quickly. Um, I would say that the packaging was great, except for the, the way they put them in the tube. I can't see any uh, damage as of yet. I'll take a little closer inspection and write in the comments section below if there's any issues. But right now I just care mostly about the fact they're genuine products and um, yeah, they, they're they certainly genuinely look, looking to me, so um, I'll be able to trade these at some point in time when I want to get my capital back out of the gold. So, uh, really good product, I would say, except for that one issue with the way they were packaged in that tube. <clears throat> I don't know if that's something that they do, which is common practice, but you can't really put 10 of these and then uh, one foam, you know, rectangular foam uh, piece of uh, foam in, in the tube. It's just going to shake around, as you saw, as I was unboxing. Um, I would say I, I would, I'd rather not uh, try to buy numismatics from Atmex if this is something that they do as standard practice, but this is the first time I've seen it, so hopefully that's not standard practice. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Please let me know in the comments below whether you think that was a problem or not. Um, I certainly thought it was a, an issue and I wouldn't want to order something that I would like to be in good condition. Uh, but if you guys have other thoughts, please let me know in the comments below and please like and subscribe. Thanks so much guys. Bye.